Okay, und da sind wir schon im Spiel drin. Willkommen zu Lechucks Revenge Monkey Island Special Edition 2. Ein sehr langer Titel. Und ja, nachdem wir Monkey Island 3, Monkey Island 1 gespielt haben, spielen wir jetzt auch Monkey Island 2. Ja, genau in dieser Reihenfolge. Wir haben jetzt erst Monkey Island 3 gespielt. Da habe ich mir Monkey Island 1, 2 und 4 gekauft. Und jetzt spielen wir, nachdem wir Monkey Island 1 gespielt haben, Monkey Island 2 die Special Edition. Wir gucken hier kurz mal rein in die Option. Sechseinhalb Stunden später. So, na dann, ich würde mal sagen, starten wir ein neues Spiel, beginnen wir das Spiel. Auf geht's. Classic Edition ist nur auf Englisch erhältlich. Sehr schade. Aber gut. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Streepwood. You do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Ah, uh, okay. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Kapitel 1, Teil 1, das Lago Embargo. Aha. Der Gay Bosch ist wieder am Start. Gay Bosch schiebt. Aber Sekunde, was passiert, wenn wir hier Option? Wir würden gerne was ausprobieren. Eine Classic Edition Dialoge aus. Was ändert das? Ups, uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants. On second thought, stop right there. You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Nicht viel. Okay. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Help! Not so. Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, 
You can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Uh huh. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Press A for an audio commentary. Okay, uh, here is the big. Ah, uh, okay, no, no, please not. Can we the audio commentary also be installed? I'm here new. Okay. Scheinbar nicht. Ich kann die Audiodialoge nicht aufstellen. Oh, und. Hallo, Bär mit Brille. Ähm, und willkommen in England im Community. Und willkommen bei Monkey Islands 2 in the Chuck Swear Ranch. Special Edition. Hauptsache gesund, sagt er. Okay. Ja, was geht denn bei dir so? Also ich spiele gerade Monkey Island 2. Gerade noch ganz am Anfang. So, äh, das ist eine Tür. Ähm, schauen wir einfach mal rein. Ein Zimmermann. Ah, okay, jetzt haben wir hier wieder das Menü. Jetzt können wir drücke Zimmermann. Weiß nicht, ob das so klug ist. Ziel Zimmermann. Weiß nicht, ob das so klug ist. Aha, okay. Wer mit Bruder guckt meine Streams beim Duschen. Auch schön. Was meine, was, was, wo meine Streams alle so geguckt werden. Das ist, muss aber gleich essen. Kuss. Also guckst du meinen Stream beim Duschen und dann beim Essen oder wie? <lacht> ist ja seltsam. Okay, ich würde mal erstmal sagen, wir betrachten, wir, wir betrachten erstmal den Zimmermann. Ah ja, okay, und jetzt... Benutzen wir den Zimmermann an? Nee, bitte nicht. Ja. Ähm, also. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. A woodsmith? Also ein Waldschmied? <lacht> Ist das die verwundliche Übersetzung? A woodsmith? Waldschmied? Ist ja lustig. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. No, I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my no, tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Äh, ja, genau. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ach so. A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. <lacht> ja gut, das wäre eine deutsche Übersetzung, das hätte keinen Sinn ergeben. Gut, dass man die englische, dass das keine deutsche Übersetzung, keine deutsche Synchronisation gibt. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? Ah, uh, ja. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd like to look around a bit. Good <laughs> Yeah, sehr schön. Monkey Island und seine Dialoge sind wieder zurück. Willst du nochmal reden? Yeah. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, geht nicht. Können wir ihn benutzen? I don't think he'd like that. Können wir ihn ziehen? I don't think he'd like that. Können wir ihn drücken? I don't think he'd like that. Nicht! Eine kleine Umarmung, das, das tut doch keinem. Das tut doch ja keinem gut. Von. Von Geilbosch auf jeden Fall. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Ah, ja. What do you think you're doing? It's adjusted to my height. Get away from there. It's adjusted to my height. Hey, don't touch that. It's adjusted to my height. Get your hands away from there. It's adjusted to my height. Oh, no, you don't. Everything's laid out just how I need it. 
Okay, ja, wir werden diesem Abenteuer alles drücken, ziehen, benutzen, anschauen und nehmen, nehmen. Wir werden es zum Versuchen, also. Get away from there. Wenn ich nichts. Just how I need it. Nach bestem Wissen und Gewissen, wenn ich, wenn ich, wenn ich was nicht mache, dann. Get your hands ja. away from there. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Ah, okay. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Oh no, you don't. No one touches her but me. Ah, by no? Get away from there. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. Hey, don't touch that. Ah, okay, ja, manchmal bringt es auch nicht, alles an zu, alles dreifach zu machen, also. Hey, don't touch those. I need all of them. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Okay, ein Stuhl. Erstmal anfassen. It's not for sale. Okay, wir dürfen hier nichts anfassen. Verstehe. Na, die Audiokommentare werde ich mal auslassen. Bin ich hier auf Englisch nicht so ein Freund von. Hm, Bloody Lip. Okay, hier gibt's noch eine Tür. Ein Kartenzeichen. Nice, Monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. I'm not dressed for wrestling. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Ah, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, the Chuck Busting Stud. Uh huh. This was very fun, guys. Nice map. Yep. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Ah, uh, yeah. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With well, the sailing embargo Lago's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. Ach, du a haven for roughnecks and yeah, rebels just... like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. Uh -huh. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Uh oh, um. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The uh who? -huh. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know it contains unimaginable wealth. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. <coughs> well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? 
only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Uh-huh. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went wieder. their separate ways. Nicht schon wieder Karten. Wow. That's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, so I bet I could recognize können. the shape of the land and track Nein. it down myself. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery in here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. Can't That's smell. what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! <laughs> Only sissies use maps. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. I do. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um sister once had. Naturally. It's too small. Nice map. Drew it myself. Okay, I can't also not so long ohne. I can't also not so long with monocle malen. It's too dim in the arm. We must have let's wait for two seconds. Absetzen. Okay. So she gets some good, some bloody lip. Luke, I'm the father. What is he using to clean those glasses? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regular spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Uh -huh. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. 
Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that <laughs> stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Yeah. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Verdammt. Wir brauchen einen Ausweis. Yeah, boy. Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Hmm. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. Ach, Mist. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Largo's been here. That's sick. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Hey, uh, yeah. Hired help only. Okay. Wir müssen Angestellter werden, wir brauchen einen Ausweis. Alles klar. Ein Schiff. Okay, und hier drüben noch ein Schiff. Aha, Männer ohne Moral. Alles klar. They're sleeping peacefully. What is it? Um. Hi. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Okay. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold uh -huh. him the business. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Wolf. Big whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. 
That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. Uh huh. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to oh, the earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Sounds more like workaphobia to me. Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Ah, yeah. Viel Dialog ist hier. Da ja, umso weniger muss ich dann reden. Das ist also für mich. Müssen wir irgendwas reinwerfen. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Ah, ja, jetzt haben wir einen Eimer. Eine Schachtel. It won't fit in my pocket. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Nein. Schüttle ist du. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Ah, uh, yeah. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Und hallo, Verschreiarbeiter. He looks nice enough. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting Come your clothes as clean as they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You okay. got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate covered ants? I'd like to pick uh -huh. up some clothes. You have your claim taken sunny. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. <laughs> but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. 
What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I just want no claim tickets. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay, then we're going to go to the street.